A creepy company has unveiled a facial recognition vending machine that not only identifies shoppers, but may restrict which products people are allowed to purchase from its inventory based on a person's age, medical records, or dietary requirements. The Loose X2 Touch TV vending machine debuted back in October and was proudly proclaimed to be the first in the world to use facial recognition technology. The company proudly proclaims that a gym could use the machine, uh, could link it up with its membership database to not sell fattening snacks to a person who's on a diet, while a hospital could prevent a user with health conditions such as diabetes from buying a sugary snack. That's right, people can't be trusted to make their own dietary decisions. We need Big Brother to just look after you and prevent you from actually making purchases if he thinks that you're too fat uh, or if he just thinks that maybe you've bought too much of that, too much chocolate cake for you this month. Something straight out of not only Minority Report, the 2002 movie with Tom Cruise that featured a scene where billboards would recognize people and pitch them products based on their personal uh, past purchasing history, but also something out of the island, the 2005 film starring Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson, where there's a popular bacon scene. Basically, if you haven't seen the movie, it's about a bunch of clones that have been uh, made to harvest the organs for their uh, wealthy clients. And in order to keep the clones nice, nice and healthy, uh, they have certain dietary restrictions, but the clones don't know that they're clones, by the way. And so there's a popular scene, a very telling scene in the movie, where Ewan McGregor's character was at the uh, cafeteria and was refused bacon because he has had exceeded his bacon or his uh, fat allotment for that week. Something that this creepy vending machine company wants to implement. Facial recognition is rolling out. It's almost as widespread as ordinary security cameras. Check my previous video on Jibo, the world's first family robot with facial recognition scanning systems that the company wants you to put at the dinner table and in your bedroom. Right here, look at, oh, she's so fun. Talking with her artificial intelligent robot buddy. Well, let's not forget that Miss Teen USA and just countless other women have had their webcams hacked into, baby monitors, smart televisions, etc., anything with a webcam and a microphone in it. Miss Teen USA, very popular case in California, Cassidy Wolf, who had her webcam hacked into by a, a creep, a fellow classmate of hers, who was able to then snap naked pictures of her as she walked around in what she thought was the privacy of her own bedroom. Uh, facial recognition scanning systems have been tested for well over a decade. The Super Bowl back in 2002 uh, was uh, Super Bowl Face Scan 1. I'm sorry, Super Bowl in 2001 uh, was used. Now we have hotels that use facial recognition scanning systems that identify people as soon as they step foot in the front door. Facial recognition is creeping into our daily lives. Restaurants are using it. Uh, Google Glass apps have it, other HMD head-mounted displays. We may, unless we can shame these companies into uh, not installing these systems, if they've not already been secretly installed and beta tested already, we may be entering a phase of the Orwellian nightmare where every big box retailer, every store, every street that you step foot down may soon be equipped with facial recognition scanning systems uh, that become as prevalent as ordinary security cameras, keeping track of which stores you go into, which aisles you linger in, which products you pick up and purchase. As the Orwellian nightmare continues to unfold, more and more police officers are being equipped with facial recognition scanning systems. Of course, the new push... Uh, to have police equipped with body cameras or POV point-of-view cameras will only further the facial recognition scanning system. And by the way, the, it came to be basically from a grant from Rockefeller University, who back in 1991 
recruited a man named Joseph Attic and then gave him a grant along with DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, uh, to create facial recognition scanning systems. Let's not forget that Amazon Echo, which will soon be equipped with a facial recognition scanning system, just like little Jibo, uh, is the family robot that they want on your nightstand and on your kitchen table or kitchen counter as well that's just always listening to you with voice recognition, always watching you just to help you out. As the slaves have become willing servants in this system, paying and installing their own telescreens in their own bedrooms and living rooms. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and the playlists. Check out my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True, in paperback on Amazon.com or download it onto any e-reading device. If you want to put the pieces of the puzzle together, all of this is assembled and explained in full detail. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. There's more videos coming soon.